big screen dreams of some Winnipeggers will be realized starting tonight. Brad Pitt's latest film, The Assassination of Jesse James, opens tonight and this city will play a starring role. Parts of Winnipeg's downtown were transformed into the 19th century Wild West when the epic was filmed and several Winnipeg businesses and Winnipeg wannabe actors also made up part of Brad Pitt's backdrop. Global's Lorraine Nickel reports. This was two years ago. Heartthrob actor Brad Pitt shut down city streets for the filming of the assassination of Jesse James. Today, the excitement moved to the theater. Joy and Elizabeth were extras in the movie. They've waited two years to see themselves on the big screen. Pretty excited. Yes, <laughs> I think it's amazing. Everyone at work is like, they've we heard all about it. Yes. <laughs> These best friends ordered their tickets online and showed up hours before the movie's first showing today. This man even dressed the part. Over the last two years, I've kind of put together a costume. I decided when it opened up in Winnipeg just to come out in costume. Four all the way down at the end, right hand side. Can't believe I'm sitting with none other than Jesse James. It's about the demise of robber killer Jesse James in the 1800s. During filming, Princess Street was transformed into a Midwestern town with horses and carriages. Special sand was even brought in to cover the paved roads. Today, it's back to normal, but local shop owners are still boasting about it. They paid me to shut my shop down for two days. A whole bunch of people that worked here stole their fake newspapers when they were done. So they're just going to throw them out anyway. So I've still got about three or four newspapers that actually appear in the movie. Some critics are calling it a masterpiece, while others say it's long and drawn out. And despite being filmed here, some Winnipeggers have mixed reactions. People are just going to go see Brad Pitt, right? But I mean, a lot of people, maybe they would just go see it because they live in Winnipeg, right? And they want to see their town. People would go for the novelty of seeing your own town on, you know, on the screen, but uh, not me personally. Well, yeah, they probably will just because it's in Winnipeg. They'll probably see it again, and I will buy it. <laughs> I hope. Yeah. But for now, these extras are soaking up their 240 minutes of fame. Lorraine Nickel, Global News. And so far, the movie's only playing at Silver City Polo Park. But if it becomes a hit, other theaters in the city may also show it, which would be kind of nice. Just entertainment.